Hi Taurus, how are you? Deanna here, Intuitive D, 1111. I hope you all are doing well. It has been a while. So, <laughs> let's see what messages we have here for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and uh, North Node in both Sidereal, Vedic, and Tropical Western Astrology, okay? So, what's going on with the Tauruses? What's the energy coming through for them that they need to know about? Okay, so a lot of you guys could be you know, focused on stability, your fourth house, focused on, you know, your home, your family. Woo, we have beauty queen. So shining on stage, adored. Some of you guys could be getting praise at work or you could um, be admired for your beauty. Okay. Of course, right? Represented by Venus. So I'm not surprised. Um, a lot of you guys could also be, you know, working on your aesthetic, taking care, you know, of your skincare, you know, changing up your wardrobe, your style. You could have a lot of people that are interested in you as well. What other messages do we have for the Tarans that are watching this video? Okay. Some of you guys could have somebody that's older that's interested in you. Yeah. Look at that. I'm trying to tell you dating queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay you guys um you guys have several people that want to date you look we have opportunity dates and abundance coming in so and look at and look in the card how there's multiple people trying to give her offers so i feel like it's like not even just offers in love i feel like it's opportunities when it comes towards you know work advancement all kind of different things some of you guys could have dark hair or some of you guys could have you know blonde hair as well too is what i'm getting um, we have intense focus. So I feel like you guys are really focused on um, being positive. You know what I mean? Like I really feel like you guys are focused on your abundance, creating different things in your life right now. We have karma, toxic story, new opportunities. I feel like a lot of you guys are clearing karma, okay? I feel like you could have been dealing with somebody, regardless of their age, that was that was being immature, okay? And a lot of you guys were just like, oh, nope, I'm closing out this cycle, okay? Um, and that makes perfect sense. Like right now, currently with the transits, I know this is a timeless reading, but at this moment, we have both Venus and Mercury that are transiting you know, um, Venus, you know, transiting Mercury as well as, um, Mercury, Venus transiting first house for Taurus. Sorry, I had a moment. So you guys, it's like, there are people online that are interested in you, you know, third house, you guys could even, you know, be growing connections, you know, that from friendships, have someone in your friendship circle that's interested in you. I mean, Whew, we have Ice King here, boss entrepreneur detached. I feel like a lot of you guys are very just, you know, focused on your own goals. And I feel like you've dealt with other em energies. And I, this is like King of Swords energy. You could have been dealing with somebody that was emotionally unavailable. It's like they were not communicating with you how they felt. I feel like this person could very well also be suffering karma right now, okay? Because of, for how they treated you. I feel like this person, um, you know, didn't necessarily see your your value didn't see your worth and i feel like you being this beautiful abundant energy i feel like you are attracting a lot of attention and this person is noticing that and this person i feel like they could very well you know feel like they're losing you i'm kind of getting this energy of this person worried that they're losing you yeah we have destiny here luck chance meant to be i feel like you guys are going to be meeting someone soon um like, if you don't have anyone in your circle, I feel like you're going to be meeting someone new. If you're wanting to meet fresher energies, I feel like that's coming through for you. Yeah, look at that. You got money that's coming in. So that's beautiful energy for you. And I feel like as you continue to, you know, focus on yourself and your endeavors and, you know, your own healing, it's bringing in, you know, abundance in all types of different forms for you, Taurus. So I really love that for you. And also, happy birthday to the sidereal Tauruses, Okay when that comes up right now the sun is uh oh actually i feel like i missed you guys' birthday already i know i missed it, the western taurus's birthday already too even so let's go ahead and get into this so what other messages do we have here for the tauruses that watch this video what do they need to know not today <laughs> the key go wands in reverse Oh, Lord, here we go, Taurus. Messages for Taurus. 
justice card in reverse. What do you guys need to know? Yeah, somebody, some of you guys were dealing with a player. That person is suffering karma right now with the justice card in reverse. They didn't want to take accountability for their actions, okay? And now you have new love. <laughs> some of you guys, you're manifesting new love with the three of wands card. Yeah, look, there you are, queen of pentacles. Someone wants to reunite with you, though, from your past, okay? Someone is very interested in you, Um what I'm getting, though, is you could have been dealing with somebody that, you know, either they had other interests, they were being a player, or maybe they just really were not taking action towards you because there was something that they did wrong in the past, and they didn't really want to have to apologize and take accountability for that. Um, you could have been dealing with somebody that, you know, could be a little bit angry or possessive as well. Yeah, this person is watching you with the Page of Swords. Look at how close he is to her behind on this picture. No one has time for that. Like, I feel this person is all up in your grill, all up in your energy. Some of you guys, if this person knows where you live, this person... Um, I'm kind of getting it for some of you. It's kind of a creepy vibe. Like this person very well could be like, you know, I don't want to say outside of your window, but maybe driving by your place. Like, I feel like this person is like all up in your grill with this page of swords here. I feel like they're curious about you too. The nine of pentacles here. I feel like, you know, for some of you guys, um, you know, you're in this pre-empress energy. You're focused on yourself. Notice how she's, you know, she's asleep and yet this guy is over here cutting off a piece of her hair. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, you could, you could have somebody that's obsessed with you that you don't even really know it. Like maybe you don't even, maybe this person is coming off like they, um, for some of you guys, it could be an Aries because justice card reverse. I mean, Libra, um, well, you have, if, if, if it was a Libra, um, rising it would be an aries descendant so some of you guys it could even be someone with aries placements as well too dealing with someone that has a lot of pride yeah for some of you this person is like they want to act like they're not even interested with the four of cups and actually no you're not interested ace of cups you have new love coming in tell me more about this ace of cups for the tarians that are watching this um this video and if it's not even new love for some of you guys it could up oh, some of you guys it could be a new vehicle it could be a new home with the t the ten of pentacles um uh, some of you guys are going to be traveling to see family soon with the chariot and the ten of pentacles some of you guys are well on your way though to meeting somebody new and all of a sudden it turns into some type of long-term commitment like you could be meeting your future spouse really soon yeah, someone's coming in that wants to make you an offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. We have Scorpio here. Yeah, I really feel like you guys are not going to be stuck on anything from the past pretty soon, okay? Clarify this Ace of Cups for me, please. Some of you guys, it's a new passion project, but I really feel like it could be... Yeah, look at that. New love. Some of you guys, it's success. Some of you is someone at a distance. They could be a different culture, ethnicity, race. Um, yeah, someone has their eyes on you. Lovers. Some of you guys going to have a choice in love too. Yeah, someone is very interested in you, Taurus. Okay? Finds you very attractive. Yeah, some of you guys are letting someone go. Or for some of you, they're letting someone else go. And they're going to be taking a trip to... Uh, some of you guys can meet somebody on a work trip. Okay. Someone's traveling towards you is what I'm getting. Somebody at a distance wants to work on things with you. If not, some of you guys could move for work or have a job opportunity at a distance coming your way. So that is what I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, go ahead and hit the like button as well as subscribe to see when I upload for your other natal chart placements. If you want a personal reading, I'll have the link down below. Love you guys. Bye, Taurus.